All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to put some screws in the board. We have We have uh, 14 by one, one slash four inch, right there. That will uh, go through the plywood and goes through the pool. I don't know if you can get the pool right, right there, the pool. So we'll go through the plywood and the pool. So that's what we're doing. Today, we're trying to get some, I just need one more, so that's what we will be doing. I got a couple more screws to put in, and then we'll be ready to go. So, we're going to put this one in, like so, and now... We will take. Uh oh. I can't get it out. Got it. Now we will put my Phillips. Phillips. Focus. Phillips. And we got these screws. Little drywall screws not very big not very tall but yay big and we will put them in yeah like I this I got some holes pre-drilled so This one is angled on this way. Sorry, you guys are so far away because I can't get it any closer. So, we are going to put, try to put a screw in right here. Goes kind of out of angle.
screw in this bad boy this board this uh, plywood is is uh, I show you I don't know if you can see it see how the plywood is kind of bowed it's bowed that away so and if you look my 2x4 behind here all the way down I have it down behind there, right there, to uh, mount it to the floor. But as you can tell, it starts here and it kind of comes at an angle. The only reason why it comes out an angle like that is when you're putting up these canopies, like I did. The ground, I didn't. The ground is very, very on level. Like if you're walking through here, you can feel it. You know what I mean. So the ground is very on level. You don't. It, it just. It, it's hard unless you take the time to level the ground out. Where I'm from, in the Mount Vernon area, um, where I'm at, my town. We have certain codes where if you have, if you're putting a, a, a concrete floor in, you can only be so tall, but since, and you got to have a building permit to do that. So doing a building permit in the property I rent, it's just going to raise up the property tax for the town and I'm gonna have to go and get paperwork through the city and all that. So with the plywood floor, I can have it because it's a removable garage, but at the same time, I can only be so far off the ground with the plywood. If I go any higher with the plywood, then I'm considered as a cement floor. To me, it does not make sense. I don't understand it, but I guess that's just how this city works, where I'm from, so. Uh, if you uh, have any ideas why and the knowledge of it, um, if you look right there, you can, uh, to your right side of the screen, your left side of the screen, however you're looking at it, uh, there's a comment box. Leave me a comment, tell me, tell me, uh, maybe, you know, give me some knowledge why they do that. Um, like I said, if it makes sense to you, let me know so it can make sense to me. Like I said, a floor is a floor. It don't matter if it's if it's wood or concrete. I understand the concrete you can't take it with you, but a wood floor you can. But why are they making a big deal that I can only have a wood floor so high? And if I go any higher, like a cement floor would, like four inches thick, or four inches high from the grass to the top of the floor I got to get paperwork and I got to go through all this uh, city crap and get people out here to survey the property and make sure I do this before I dig and got to call gas companies call electric companies 
and all that. I, I just got to spend more money than right now. I got, uh, I think, two hundred dollars invested in this garage, and that's it. And as of right now, I want to keep it that way. So, because I'm open, planning on moving next year from this house, moving out to the country, where I can have bigger property and do more. So. I just wanted to do a video to show you the plywood wall that I'm putting up. I'm not doing the whole wall on this side. I'm only doing just what you see. And I might do maybe half of this wall here. But yes, it's going to go from, you know, the floor. It will go from the floor to the top. And then I might extend it to about right here and put another 2x4 in right there and extend this out a little bit farther so I can have a little bit more room to uh, hang stuff. Now this wall over here, this wall here, I am going to plywood all this wall here. And again, my door is going to be here. And then here it's going to be open and we're going to have a walk through to another little area where my little workshop will be and the vehicle will be in this area so but a lot of stuff i'm going to be hanging here uh i'm going to get 10 footers two by fours but 10 foot they're going to go from that beam to this beam behind me right there and I'm going to put three of them across and then put plywood on top and that can be like a little storage and stuff. Um, doing this experience of building a garage out of a canopy, it's easy, but it's time consuming, but it don't take a lot of money. Just like my S10, I'm doing it on a budget. I work a full-time job. I work Sunday through Thursday Third shift so I work on this on the weekends and when I wake up throughout the week uh, Before I go into work. So this is a budget garage just like my s10 is a budget build. So I don't Want to spend a lot of money on this because I'd rather go and buy property with a house and have a big pool barn eventually so this is just temporary to get me by, to get me out of my other garage and put extra cash in my pocket. We are going to hang some more lights up. As you can tell, we got a couple lights hung up here behind me and above me. We are going to put some more lights up in here. And when we get the addition put on, we'll be putting up some more lights in there. I'll probably put two or three up. And uh, But like I said, this wall right here behind me will be plywood from corner to corner so this is 20 foot so i will plywood this whole wall uh for one so people can't get in for two uh you can't see my shadow outside when i'm working on something on in here when i have my lights on at night time you can see what i'm doing you can see my movements you see what what's in here and stuff like that so putting plywood up on that side facing the house and towards the road and then put my garage door in you won't be able to see in here at all so again um, I will do another video I'm gonna try to do uh, I'm gonna try to get up try to get in the habit of doing videos every day and pretty much what I'm gonna do it's just not gonna be uh doing stuff with vehicles doing stuff you know that kind of stuff i'm going to be doing a little bit of my life involved with the vehicles on my daily base uh, i'm going to try to do a video where i can get off work do a video and then when i get up i will do a video and stuff like that and if people like it people like it if people don't want to follow me that's fine um, but if there's something you guys would like me to do uh, to help me out with my videos uh, again just there's a message area leave me a message leave me a comment um, 
You can find me on Facebook. You can go to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment there. Um, so, I would just want to take the time to tell the people who has subscribed to me and who is following me right now. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm working on trying to find a place that will do t-shirts and uh, maybe some hats and uh, maybe some Kova masks or something with my S10 with the vehicles on it. Uh, maybe some sayings I say and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We won't know until we do it. So, I'm going to get off here. I got a couple things to do. I got to hang cameras tomorrow, so I got to find spots to put my cameras uh, so nobody tries to come on my property. So, you all have a good day, and I will see you here after a while. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video here in a little bit. So, like I said, I'm going to try to do two videos a day throughout the week, or at least one video. But a day throughout the week so if you guys uh stick with me uh you guys will see me get better at this um at the same time i'm new i never really done this uh this is my first time um coming out of my comfort zone uh coming out of my shell so um this is very new to me so I'm a very quiet person unless you get on my bad side. So as of right now, we're just trying to throw some stuff together and see how it works, see how it plays out. Some of it's going to be funny. Some of it's not going to be funny. Some of it's going to be serious. Um, I think uh, later on tonight or tomorrow, I will do a video just on myself. Um, the reason why I started the YouTube channel and um, talk a little bit about who I am and and why I am doing stuff like this and why I like working on vehicles why I like try to give myself challenges and stuff like that so for the people who's following me I appreciate it keep following me you guys will get some more good content I, right now, I'm just using my cell phone so I don't have that high dollar camera system and stuff like that like other YouTubers or other people out there who takes pictures and stuff. Speaking of pictures, I will try to get some posters made hopefully this winter of the S10 so and the Drango after we put the 2 inch lift kit on it and after we get it painted I will have posters for those two, for those two vehicles. So I will try to get a thing set up where you can buy some posters off of me and whatever else I'm selling, I will try to do that too for you guys. So uh, I guess I will talk to you guys on the flip side. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, give me thumbs down, more than likely thumbs down. A lot of people don't see me. So have a good day. Thank you.